वेलकम बैक देर इज नथिंग मोर रिलीविंग देन सींग इन्वेस्टर सेंटिमेंट स्ट्रेंथनिंग सिस्टमेटिक इन्वेस्टमेंट प्लान फॉर द मंथ कॉन बाय क्रॉस द माइल स्टोन ऑफ थर्टीन थाउजेंड क्रोर मार्क एज पर एम फी डेटा सो वेर आर इन्वेस्टर्स इन्वेस्टिंग हाउ शुड यू गो अबाउट एलोकेटिंग योर फंड गोइंग अड टू डिस्कस ऑल ऑफ दिस टूडे वी हैव फिरोज असी डिप्टी सी वन एंड थर्टी फाइव एट ट्वेल्थ मैनेजमेंट फिरोज गुड इवनिंग एंड वेलकम टू द शो बिफोर आई क्वेश्चन यू अबाउट द एम फी डेटा आई बिलीव इट्स योर सन्स बर्थडे ऑन चिल्ड्रंस डे सो हैप्पी चिल्ड्रंस Day to him and a very happy birthday to him as well. <laughs> Thank you, Kavita. Uh, yes, it's his birthday. I, I wish him a great future. In fact, two of my other friends' uh, children's birthday is also. I think quite a few children know that Children's Day they step into <laughs> this world. Uh, yeah. So Abni and uh, Vidur also have their birthdays. I think it's very important for all of us mm-hmm. uh, to understand the significance of children right. because they. they they have an influence on uh parents behavior uh investing behavior as well so they give a purpose uh, to the whole investing journey uh, so i'm happy uh, that children's day which marks one of the important days to exhibit those long term goals so i think uh, thank you so much for the wish i'll convey it to him if he is not already seeing television All right. So, uh, since you talk about uh, uh, long-term goals and uh, you know the motivation uh, to stay invested, let's talk about the SIPs, which are again at a record high. Where do you think uh, 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 retail investors are getting the strength to stay invested? Uh, Kavita, what's happening is uh, from 2013, the kind of education focus uh, which India has had to the whole financialization concept uh, is paying off now. uh in the previous two three situations where there were uncertainties like 2008 2013 and several other years sip numbers used to drop because people used to look at past performance and start their sips if you see last one year has been very turbulent time especially for a new investor in that space if 10000 crores of sip number which is what it was last october transform itself to 13000 now uh, which is uh, if you look at 10500 becoming 13000 that's about 20% growth 23 24% growth on the back of one of the most uncertain years from a war to inflation to interest rate hike to crude oil all this has happened and retail investors are strong uh, that's because they understand that markets will behave like this and that's uh, the nature of the market and i think on the back of education uh, this money has come is why you see it growing month on month Uh, even if you look at it from april uh, which it was 11900 to 13000 in about 7 months it is a very healthy number so you think this momentum uh, 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 going at the same pace ahead or you think it can slow down i think it is still uh, starting the momentum okay. uh, i think uh, we are scratching the surface if i project the sip numbers 3 4 years from now I wouldn't be surprised if it hits twenty-five thousand crores per month as well. If you look at the seventy crore increase from September to October, it looks like a small seventy crore increase. But since this is seventy crores a month, that all automatically implies almost eight fifty crores in a year has has been committed extra. And second is it is not just the number of amount of SIPs. Uh, there is about 20 lakh new sips which have got registered so i personally think that this is just a scratching the surface today we have almost 13000 crores if you measure it in billion and trillion like foreign investors measure it is almost more than 1 and 1/2 billion dollars uh, and uh, i wouldn't be surprised if this moves to 3 billion dollars in the next 3 to 4 years So all encouraging and uh, uh, upbeat numbers here. So what people can do is just continue their uh, SIPs. But if at all you want to know whether you should be continuing your SIP in, in the same fund or you want to rebalance your portfolio, you need to send us your queries. But then with that, uh, Firoz, let's move on to our query segment where the first query comes from Rajesh. He's a government bank employee and uh, he will retire in ten years currently. He says that he's been investing almost forty five thousand a month in equity mutual funds. Target is to accumulate one crore in twenty. years uh, so far uh, he's uh, managed to gather the corpus of 20 lakh uh, he wants to know how much will he uh, he'll be able to uh, accumulate and uh, will be possible for him to uh, accumulate this corpus before his retirement uh, the list of funds i think you have with you so what is your recommendation 
So he's a fresh investor. He hasn't invested. Uh, it seems he's not given us the names. Or do you have the names on you? Yes, uh, Kavita. I think uh, uh, Rajesh is investing uh, forty-five thousand, or at least intending to invest forty-five thousand, which is a reasonable of corpus, and he wants to accumulate a crore. Fortunately, with that kind of corpus and a twenty thousand, twenty lakh rupee lump sum, even at a twelve percent rate, he will get to almost about one point six six crores. Uh, so he will supersede his target. But since his time frame is ten years away, he doubling his amount uh, for inflation of seven percent. Makes sense. So uh, at fourteen percent, he will supersede two crores. At twelve percent, he will still get to about one point six, one point seven crores. So it's a healthy rate and a very fair expectation, Rajesh. Um, that's point one. Uh, point two, to my mind, schemes like Kavita also mentioned in the previous discussion, uh, schemes might require a relook. Equity could be a long term asset. You may want to leave money in equity for ten, twenty, thirty, or till eternity. But you may not want to leave the money in the same scheme till eternity. So reviewing and listening to the show and and making changes is periodically is critical. Uh, so I will recommend five schemes which are contemporary today, may not be contemporary three years hence. So you will have to have that time and wherewithal to write back to us and take some more uh, opinion as the dynamic landscape of investing always keeps changing. Franklin India Blue Chip, uh, which uh, is a good fund. Uh, has not performed in the past, but has future performance possible. IT as a sector has been skewed uh, in the portfolio, assuming value will emerge. That's the key uh, highlight of this. HDFC Taxi Cap, which is a value fund, uh, Prashant Jain is to manage it now. Roshi Jain manages it, uh, which is who has also been a great fund manager. Uh, Kotak Emerging Equities, Pankaj Tribhuvan's fund is a good start point in the mid cap space. Invesco India Multi Cap, Tahir Bacha, who is the CIO, looks at this portfolio. Uh, very very keenly, so that's the fourth fund. And SBI Contra, which is Dinesh, who's the fund manager, and the CIO Vasan uh, is also uh, one of the best fund managers in the industry. He overlooking the portfolio. These are the five schemes with great professionals behind these five schemes. Why am I mentioning these names? Because every investor should go a little deep into the person behind the fund. And not knowing your fund manager is not a great idea. So Rajesh Ji, as a foundation for your beginning, I'm mentioning these fund manager names so that this curiosity uh, for you to go dig deeper in terms of their behavior their background and so on and so forth on the debt side uh, there is idfc guild uh, fund 2027 index fund uh, which you can definitely look at which only lends money to government of india on the debt side all right we quickly move on to our next query from uh, shayantan and he's a freelancer with a monthly income of uh, between 40 to 50000 per month and he wants to start investing in equity mutual funds with a target of uh, building a corpus of 30 lakhs in next 15 years he wants to know what kind of mutual funds would you be uh, recommending uh, with medium risk yes see uh, kavita ji uh, to my mind uh, medium risk is more or less all equity funds i would call them medium risk with time they may be high risk for one year. They may be a little little low risk on two year basis, but they become medium risk over a three to five year basis. Uh, so the same five schemes, I will not be repetitive for the lack of time. The same five schemes, Ayantar, uh, please invest. If you have 50,000 rupees of a take home salary, your target should be to save at least 30% of your disposable income uh, into investments. So, but start with 10% of it, which is 5,000 rupees. And fortunately, you can get to your 30 lakhs with 14% return in 15 years, just with 5,000. But don't stop there. 10% is not a great savings rate try and expand that goal basket look at uh, your dependents if you have children make make a couple of more goals so that you stretch and get to 30 percent savings rate the same funds franklin india blue chip hdfc flexicap kotak emerging equity invesco multicap and uh, sbi contra on the debt side idfc crystal uh, index fund guild 2027 is a great debt fund to add to your portfolio Right. Uh, that will be all. Thank you so much, uh, Feroz, for removing time and being a part of this show today. And we move on to the state of the economy. CPI inflation for October has expected uh, moderated, in fact, to 6.77% from 7.4% in September.